Hi guys and welcome to another review on our channel and the movie that we're going to do today is the movie called Love Regardless directed by Muiwa Luku. About six months. Why? There's only one thing to know about Ivory. She loves music. How much does Rihanna or Katy Perry pay you to play their song 20 times a day? Well, guess what? I don't see Rihanna standing in front of me right now. Everybody wants to see Katy, but I can make it happen for you big time. Who is she? She's my friend. I've got somebody for you, Dad. Really? Who? Ivory, tell my clothes, sir. So, Love Regardless is about a struggling singer with a law degree who takes a job at her friend's father's law firm and events take place when her uh, boss, who's her friend's father, starts to fall in love with her. It stars Zanel Zhu, Benga Titiloi, Pauline Oduro, Michelle McKinney Hammond, and Yvonne Otto. Okay, so um, the casting of this film was, I think, a bit more creative because I haven't seen any of these actors or actresses really come together before. I've never really seen Benga Titi Loye in a film before. And I think all their... He's a, he's a surprisingly good actor. Yeah, he is. Yeah, because like... You see older guy falling in love with um, a younger girl. You see, like usually in films, it's a bit, it's a, it seems a bit pervy. Yeah. But in this film, he was really like, what came off was more romance, more than a thirty old man. So of yeah, it was more about his, his yeah. less about his age, more about his, like he had that young side. Yeah, I know. Except from his music taste. <laughs> but um, and um, usually the nails you should be like. How do I describe it? Like, the side woman. The side woman, you know. The side piece. Um, you, yeah, like, usually she'll play, she'll do one of these silly relationship films. But, like, today, well, in the film, she was much better. We got to sort of see the more, a more better side of her, the more, um... Like how she's as a lead yeah. actress. Yeah. I think, I think... This is like one of her best performances to date as well. I think it's her best. <laughs> I think it's, I was so shocked that this was Zanelle. Like she was so, de you know when she was in Wannabe? Oh, yeah. Like she was such, she was kind of pushed to the side for mm. her to come out and be that she looked different as well. Like she was, she was, she it was, was more of a natural role. Yeah. Instead of like over the top dramatic, like, yeah. that silly stuff that they used to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, Kudos to her because she really did well. She did well in this um, film, so yeah. Well done. Um, Yvonne Autry as well. Um, I've never really seen her in a film before. I've never seen her about it ever. Um, but uh, she was a surprisingly good actress. And for the um, playing such uh, well, like, I can't, it was a hard role, but it was like a kind of difficult role. But you sort of empathise with her as yeah. well because they're playing a role where your best, your best friend and your dad are like together. <laughs> <laughs> like, especially if that's her first movie. That's, I know, that's what you come out with. Right? I know, like, but it was really well done as a daughter. It wasn't one of those films where like she'd be over exaggerating. Yeah. Like, oh no, my best friend, and my dad, we were gonna be our best friend. All that nonsense that they do. <laughs> like she was calm, and she was calm about it, and she. It was like really logically thought about. Yeah. And that's what I enjoyed watching the most. Like I thought they were gonna do like, oh, um, my friend's dad. It's gonna be an argument between me and my friend from now on. But they didn't do that. They kept it to love, which was bad. And then that was made really about the love. <laughs> oh, look at her little romantic. <laughs> <laughs> the storyline it has sparked up some controversy mm. on the Iroko forum <laughs> because uh, many viewers say oh well, this is a rip off of a uh, letter to Adam a letter to Adam which is uh, Lydia Forsen and uh, the Ashoka Men <laughs> and yeah I think that in some ways this was better than a letter to Adam because like you felt the connection between all of them and like the storyline was better planned out like they knew how they were going to end it they knew that 
everything would go at the same pace like it was really well done like i actually really liked you know the whole grieving yeah the whole grieving sequence like, i thought it was gonna be oh a scene of grieving and that's it mm. but it actually like carried on going and it was really like good like the storyline i think it was much better executed than the first one but yeah however However, <laughs> um, to be honest, the film would have been like a hundred percent for me if um he didn't die. Hey, I'm just ruining the film. Hey, <laughs> spoiler alert, <Yes>. please. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, so okay, I've said it now. <laughs> you know, he dies. But the thing is, yeah, why? Why did he have to die? <laughs> like the film, like he he seemed perfectly healthy enough. Yeah. To be with his daughter's best friend. Yeah. So why did he have to like die? It was too. There was random. no like sort of inkling of some sort of prior health problems. One day he just was on a treadmill and then he just passed away. He even explained the death. <laughs> <laughs> but if, even if they added a scene where oh he went to the doctor, the doctor yeah, said you have to slow down your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something to indicate that he has a problem. But he just like a random death. Yeah, he just randomly. I I, I was a bit hurt because oh, no. I was like wait. <laughs> Where are you going to? <laughs> like, it was so sudden. But, was there anything else that was wrong with it? Um, no, 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 that's it. Yeah. I like the way, just like he, um, not you, EJ, how they open, remember the guy at the end who, um, the guy, okay, the guy he tried to get together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the way they incorporate him in the end, like, they made sure that everything was accounted mm-hmm. for, which was, like, really nicely done because. Like sometimes movie like to do that, they introduce someone then they're forgotten about. But this one, everyone was included, so it's really nice. And they had KOD. Yeah. Alright, like Cameo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like um, to like um, the cinematography of the film and the light, and I think the lighting really did reflect the emotion of the film. Um, the emotions throughout, the emotions of joy and the happiness that they felt when they were together. Um, regardless of their age, so we had like a lot of high key lighting to reflect that, and um, there was like a lot of medium close ups and close ups to show them together to like sort of incorporate the romance. So, like, obviously, we could feel well, we could feel the emotion that they were feeling through coming through the camera, and it was it was great, it was really great to watch. Do you, do you remember when they did like the whole texting thing? Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> Do you remember there was this whole 2009, text, 2010 the period? Yeah. yeah, there was a whole 2009, 2010 period, especially with Pascal and Manfred movies, oh where it would be like, <laughs> and then the text the card because of where they are at the time, like, oh, occupation, oh, yeah. age, like, it just got, I, don't think, I can't remember what movie did it first. Um, 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 the, game. The, game. the game. After the game, it just got <laughs> so annoying. So I just hated text in the movies. But then this one, like, it seemed believable and it was modern. It was like modern, it kind of looked like I message. It was like a modern kind of texting. Like the pictures were proper, like, proper had her with the signature. You <laughs> just sit standing there like a freshman. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, it was really modern. Like it was nice. Going to give it an overall rating of eight out of ten because that's how much we liked it. Yeah, it was really good. So thanks yeah. for watching yeah. and um, don't be scared to subscribe and to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Read our blog. You know, get involved. Like contact us. We're always open to you know criticism, improvements. So thank you very much for watching, goodbye.